Hi, my name is Heather. I'm from British Columbia in Canada. I have been in Ghana for four weeks now. Teacher says touch your eyes. Teacher says touch your knees. Teacher says touch your back. Touch your back. Touch your back. I've always wanted to travel to Africa and so I thought a volunteer vacation would be good for me and I did a little bit of research and decided that Ghana was the place I wanted to go. Um, so I researched a few different agencies and you Volunteer was the most cost effective for me. And when I emailed different agencies, you Volunteer was the first to respond and they answered all my questions really quickly. Um, they even gave me a phone call. Once I got here, I was a little bit nervous. I arrived in Accra and I actually got here a day early, so I stayed in a hotel that night. Um, but then I got picked up right from my hotel the next morning by our volunteer coordinator, Annette. And there were two other volunteers there as well. And we came straight to our dorm from there. Uh, we started orientation that weekend. The orientation was great. Um, Annette taught us a lot of the language so that we knew the basics. Um, even though everyone here kind of speaks English anyways, so that wasn't really a big deal. Um, and we toured around Caporgia and she showed us where the supermarket is and everything that we would need to know. After that weekend, we started our projects. So the first two weeks, uh, we did camps. Um, there are two different camps, one the first week and then one the next week. And in the morning of the camps, we would teach English, um, which I was also a little bit nervous about because I'm not a teacher, but it really was great. We did lesson plans each evening before we would go. Um, so we knew exactly what we were gonna do and we discussed it all as a team and just kind of fed off of each other's ideas. Um, so that was, that was easier than I thought it would be. Q -R -S -T -U -E. In the afternoons, after we taught English, we would do sports. So we did things like football and sack races and relay races, and the kids really enjoyed it. It was a great end to each day of teaching English. Um, I would say my favorite part of that was probably the big football game that we had, um, the volunteers against the students, which uh, if you know anything about Ghana, they really like football, and the volunteers weren't very good at it. so. That was fun, we lost the game, obviously, but I scored a goal, which was really exciting. In the past two weeks, I have been at the orphanage, um, so we've been playing with the kids a lot, doing a lot of arts and crafts. So we made a big banner that said um, the Hour of Grace Orphanage Home and the kids colored that and they loved it. Really getting to know the kids has been a lot of fun, like to see how they live here. Um, it's kind of difficult sometimes because their lives are so different. Uh, but the project itself has been super great, really rewarding, I think, for me as well as the kids, which is good, that's what we're here for. Our accommodations here are, they exceeded my expectations a lot. Uh, we have running water and we have electricity that usually works. <laughs> Um, so that's great. The best part, I think, is probably our chef that we have, Naomi. She cooks us lots of Ghana meals and it's all really, it tastes really good. I love the food here. Um, so if you're worried about the food, don't be because it's amazing. It's very different from what you would have back home, but it is so good. And as for traveling, we did a lot of traveling on our weekends. The first weekend here, um, during our orientation time, we went out to Bodhi Falls, which was a really nice hike. 
Um, got a little out of breath sometimes, it was kind of difficult, but we saw some waterfalls and it was just great to see the scenery around here. Um, the weekend after that we went to Mole National Park, which is up north, which was probably my favorite weekend that we had out here. It was a really long journey up there, it took us a whole day to get there. Um, but once we were there, it was absolutely amazing. We went on two safaris. One was a walking safari, one was a driving safari. And we saw elephants, antelope, warthogs, um, monkeys. We went to a monkey sanctuary too that weekend. Um, so the safaris were really fun. It was nice to see um, a lot of the country because we could drive really far. And then on the way back, we stopped at that monkey sanctuary and it was really cool. We could go up and feed the monkeys and they ate right out of our hands. Uh, a lot of great photo opportunities definitely there. And that night we stayed in Kamasi by this really big lake and it was just beautiful. The weekend after that, we went to Cape Coast which was also super cool. We went to a castle, Cape Coast Castle, and to Kakum, which is uh, this place where you do a canopy tour. So you're walking kind of on like these little bridges really up high in the trees, which is really awesome and a little bit scary. And then that night we stayed at this motel that was on this little lake and there were crocodiles in the lake. So that was really interesting, but it wasn't scary like it sounds like it might be. <laughs> For future volunteers, I would probably say some tips would be make sure you bring a lot of bug spray and the strongest bug spray you can find. I've gotten a ton of mosquito bites out here even when I wear bug spray, but it's not that bad. <laughs> I would say also bring uh, toys for the kids, but not just toys, bring activities like activity books and things to help them learn and games that you can teach them that they might not know and just things that you can do with them, like interactive games and stuff like that. And also just keep an open mind about everything because everything is very different here. No matter where you're from, it's going to be different. Um, and definitely just keep an open mind about that because you'll have a lot more fun if your mind is open to everything. <laughs> I'm not